Yeah. That's fine. So, uh, what did you bring from Oklahoma this year? A zorse and a zonkey. Oh. Now, what would you imagine that was? A zebra and a horse and a zebra and a donkey? There you go. Okay. <laughs> they're pretty unusual looking. They're pretty unusual to find. Not, not rare, just they're very unusual. Most people never see them. Why did you decide to bring them out this year? Because I really like that sort of stuff. <laughs> I'd like to buy a hat, ma'am. Okay. I don't see a hat up there I like except oh, that. Oh, except for... That's all we owe you. We gave away. <laughs> Was that the We sold it. <laughs> Thank you very much. You want to open your book? We try to buy rain guns. Since this is about California agriculture, we try to have what is you would usually see on a farm. But then there's lots of what we call, in the industry, it's called niche farming. Mm -hmm. Miniature pigs, sheep with four horns on their head instead of two. Miniature sheep, giant rabbits. There's, there's all kind of little corners and niches and crevices that people make a profit in the farm industry that's not thought of or known in a traditional sort of way. This is Zena, and that's Zona. Wow. Do you think people will get a pretty good hoot out of them? And, and they really, you, you can see it. You, know, you can see which one's donkey, which, which one's horse. Now, sometimes when you cross the zebras with them, they don't come out with stripes. And those don't bring very much money. But something with her coloring all over her body, uh, at weaning age, would be worth $2,000, $3,000. The Zorse, while she doesn't have as much strapping as the Zonkey, Still, this is a real unusual in the buckskin color with the chocolate striping. She has a spider web there in her forehead. So she she's pretty desirable also. What are they used for? Reach up and get a hold of your earlobe. Same use. Nothing. Oh. Uh, tradition 